What's up, y'all, man? It's getting Carlos here, bro. Back with another video. We're gonna speak up some shit. Um, the Chicago situation. Well, the Chicago, the Chicago rap scene. Uh, Varon getting killed. And I spoke about this before, dude. I, I, like, um, them bringing up a lot of the dead being brought up and stuff like that. Um, after they're gone. I said this before. I really believe Tuca is one of the, was one of the, you know, whatever. I really believe Tuca was one of the most dangerous people in there. Just the way that they talked about him and celebrated his death, the fact that his death is still talked about to this day. They still use his name and they smoke weed and stuff like that. When someone lives in your mind after they don't no longer live on this earth, that was a real motherfucker, man. And that's all I got to say about that situation. When someone lives in your mind after the Most High has made it to where after they've all descended off this earth, meaning they've been killed, or they've passed on but in, in, in whatever way it is, bro. And they still live in your mind. That was a real motherfucker. And they had a real impact on you. Um, you know what I'm saying? Regardless if they was real to the rest of the world. Or not, they had a real impact on you. Um, <clears throat> very, it's sad, man. I think Vaughn, I think they said the anniversary of Vaughn. I think Vaughn was killed. I think he said he was killed November 6th. I think it's like the ninth today, guys. So I think three days ago last year. I mean, like a, a year ago, three days ago, three days and a year ago. King Von was killed, I think. Real fucked up situation. Watching the Boss Top interview with um, DJ Vlad, uh, Vlad TV. I think that um, he was on to something. I, I, I think Vlad was uh, speaking the truth on that. Von was next up. You know what I'm saying? To come about. Even before his death, he was, he was blow, Von was blowing up pretty big, man. You know those? Um, I, I imagine even if he didn't die, and even if FG, F, even if FBG Duck didn't die, or nothing like that, Vaughn would still be up. And the reason that I'm saying that is because you know, what I'm saying a lot of people saying I, I seen some people saying, "Oh, not it." No, it's put it like this: I listen to more GD rappers than BD rappers, right? Not because that's what they are. Just I've noticed when I look at when I go back and look at these dudes back, like whenever I see, I was like, they always most of the rappers I fuck with have a GD background or a crit background, bro. Right? Those most of the rappers I fuck with. I noticed most of those rappers aren't in the industry. The industry is ruled by Bloods and BDs and Blood Disciples. You know what I'm saying? I believe that's what BD stands for, guys. Give me don't quote me. I believe that's what BD stands for, though. Gangster Disciples, Blood Disciples. I believe so. Um, and that's one of the re that's a, that's one reason. That Vaughn was up next. The BDs are like the, the re that's the one reason that the GDs in the dough, bro. That shit, it rings that like the 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 uh, frequency of that song rings off so negative in negatively in the industry. And that, that song was fucked fuck with by the streets, but niggas in the industry don't fuck with it because it's number no BDs in the industry and they resent that song, they resent what that song means because they're not trying to let no GDs in the dough. This is a big reason why a lot of BD rappers are mad at Kanye West, bro. They don't want these G they don't want them niggas to get any kind of shine. Like the the thing that puts Dirk and just these OTF niggas, and it, when just when you look at them and the the with FBG Duck and being their black and the people they roll with, it's the industry ties. That's the thing that I'm not talking about. What's that? I'm just talking about the thing that gives them like that. If you if you want to call it a little a, a little influence boost, a little because I think they both got money, but I don't think they have that industry money or just the, even if they, even if you don't have the money, when you're in the industry, you have what I call industry credit lines. Where they can get jets, they can still get these cars and shit. But you don't know they'll just and the niggas they cool with, they not they don't have no problem letting them say it's theirs, bro. So that shit comes with it. But GD niggas got money too. They just don't have money like these BD niggas in the industry. Um, but off that bomb is up next. Uh, I don't do I see GDs. I don't, like I see a lot of GD niggas getting rich still. Like Ruben and they still gonna get rich. They're just not gonna get an industry. Like I said, it doesn't matter. That's the point. Fuck the industry. You want the money and just to live a good life. When this shit is like the industry, like like it's it's like when the internet, like when you turn off your phone, my nigga, and when you not in nobody's studio, when you ain't got nobody up your ass, no ages around, you still wanna have your money and your sense and disability. Take care of yourself. Take care of your people and do whatever the fuck you want. That financial freedom. It's a lot of GDs with that, bro. Coach the ghost. Uh. Even though he a even though he a great street crit, and he's from Memphis, I feel like I know I'm kind of switching up right here. I'm finna I'm finna speak on Black Boy JB. I feel like I feel like Gotti Darren is signed signed to, to silence him in a way, or in a way that because he signed a lot of a lot of a lot of blood, a lot of blood niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of 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 a lot
I feel like Black Boy JB was that one nigga in the city that was gonna make a difference. He he personally, y'all y'all know he's my favorite rap out of Memphis, bro. It's Black Boy JB. Then I think I'm I'm gonna go Black Boy JB. I fuck with Glock, and then also I fuck with Big Boogie. And I fuck with Young Dog too. God, I fuck with I fuck God, I fuck with Migo and Black and all them. I listen to them a little bit, but not as much as I listen to. Like I listen to Black Boy JB, bro. You know what I'm saying? For real. Um, I feel like, like even when him saying he ain't say your guy's name, but him saying how he putting out music and ain't nobody letting him put it. I feel like it's your guy that kind of stagnated him a little bit, so his other artists can get so ahead. So when he put it out, it flopping. I don't know, man. Maybe he not trying to do that. Maybe Gotti ain't trying to do that, bro. I feel like I will, it will be kind of dumb in his way to fuck up one of his investments. But I don't know, man. It just seemed like he's stagnating under me. Everybody else getting they flourishing, bro. But it's like, he, Block even said it, bro. He been putting out, nigga, making music in the studio. Can't even put the shit out. It's crazy, bro. But that's off the subject, though. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think about it, bro.